only appropriate given tonight they're doing a celebration of life for him at Tropicana Field. Uh, very unexpected passing, but uh, we love Dave. <clears throat> Last year at this time, my mother-in-law was bedridden and weeks away from passing. And her love and passion for the Tampa Bay Rays and upcoming season was unaffected. She couldn't wait for the start of season. Knowing she would never visit Tropicana Field again in her life, I contacted my friend and radio Rays broadcaster Dave Wills. Without hesitation, Dave made a Get Well Meemaw video with other Rays broadcasters that included insights on the 2022 team. This act of human kindness is one of countless examples of Dave Wills. Dave was widely respected and recognized as an elite Major League Baseball broadcaster. Starting his professional career in 1997 with the Chicago White Sox radio network, eight years later he would migrate south to become the voice of the Tampa Bay Rays. <clears throat> For 18 years, Dave shared his beautiful gift of storytelling and sage baseball insights in real time with that rich baritone voice of his, a voice that resonated up and down the Gulf Coast of Florida. For baseball fans, Dave provided the ultimate soundtrack of summer. On a related note, he loved Casey Kasem's top 40 countdown replays on satellite radio 70s on 7. Little did he know that many of his calls were as memorable as many of those songs. From Pena Conquers the Green Monster to Strike Out and Stare Down, to, Ares, to a Rosarina going yard in Game 4 of the World Series recently, Dave's calls were as memorable as the plays himself. Himself. Baseball is a sport that truly embraces... Uh-oh. Baseball is a sport that truly embraces statistics, also known as cybermetrics. Sabermetrics, excuse me. In this case, it's only appropriate we review a few of Dave's as a Tampa Bay Rays broadcaster. He called over 26,000 innings, eight postseason clinches, 62 postseason games, two perfect games five no-hitters, and a treasure trove of memorable calls. And 18 years with the same organization is extraordinary. There's only one guy I know with more tenure at the Rays, and that's my man behind me, DJ Fresh. <laughs> Dave was a family man and friend. He adored Liz, Michelle, Alex, and his German Shepherd, Bella. My heart aches for them tonight. Dave had such a warm and engaging personality, a kindness that was a reflection of his Chicago roots. And he would always remind you that he's from the south side of Chicago. <laughs> he was always welcoming when I visited his office, the broadcast booth during a game, or at home in his man cave called Dave's Dugout. Dave was a pillar in the community his charity work and commitment to community was endless. From Buddy Baseball to the Rays Foundation events, he was always there volunteering his time, treasure, and talents. Dave felt blessed in his position and recognized a sense of responsibility to the fans and to the community. Personally, he never once told me that he could not help a cause. In fact, he was scheduled to MC this Florida Sports Hall of Fame event tonight. That, my friends, was Dave Wills. I encourage each of you to go home tonight and hug your family and tell them how much you love them because life is truly precious. Rip Dave, you'll be forever missed. Steve, thank you very well.